Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution and the Ordinary Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. Now glycolic acid is great as it improves the skin hydration and it also increases hyaluronic acid in the skin. It also helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles as well as if you have sun damaged skin or an uneven skin tone. And since it also exfoliates the skin in a very gentle way, you can also use it if you are suffering from rough and flaky skin so that you also have a smoother texture. Whereas on the other side, as lake acid is great to reduce the look of skin blemishes as well as fade post acne marks and other discolorations. So using them together is also a great combination and I'm also going to show you in the right order how you can use them. But before we are getting started with those two, we have to start off with step number one, which is also washing the face with a gentle cleanser. Now make sure that you're choosing a cleanser that's also suitable for your skin type that doesn't also irritate the skin and please also avoid any cleansers that also include high percentages of um, hydroxy acids such as AHA like lactic acid, glycolic acid etc or BHA such as salicylic acid. Since we're already using two acids we don't want to irritate the skin and still have a gentle like combination going on. Also make sure that you're reading the directions on how you should use your cleanser so that you also can use it correctly as not every cleanser has to be used the same way. Some cleansers uh, mention that you have to apply it on wet skin, other ones on dry skin and also the way you should remove it. Either rinse it with water or also with cotton pads. And this cleanser is also a great example as I also have to use a cotton pad with it and then also gently massage the cleanser onto the skin and then rinse it off with water. So, and now I'm also going to rinse it off with water. If yours is also a rinse off cleanser, then you can also use in between a wet cloth, which can also help you to get most of the cleanser off and then start properly rinsing it. And now take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So, and now we are also ready to move on to the next step, which is also really important and also want to emphasize it since it also can be a bit confusing. Now, even though it says on the ordinary glycolic acid um, solution that it's a toning solution, this actually doesn't really is a toner in the sense of like soothing the skin, nourishing the skin and also calming the skin. It still exfoliates the skin. So if you want to use this one separately, like just cleanse your face and then move on to the glycolic acid toning solution, that's totally fine. However, if you also want to include your toner that you may also have at home, please don't confuse it as it would be the same. If you're using a toner, I recommend using a toner that's soothing, that's calming, that doesn't include any specific hydroxy acids in the sense of exfoliating the skin. Since if you're having a toner at home that also has some hydroxy acids in it, such as AHA or BHA, and then you're going ahead and using the glycolic acid toning solution on top, it's like you would double exfoliate the skin, which I wouldn't recommend as it also can be very irritating on the skin. So I'm just going to include a very soothing and calming toner in this routine as well in case you have a toner at home then you also know how you should use it. If you don't use a toner please then also move on directly onto glycolic acid. With this one I have to give it also a good shake and then also apply it with a fresh cotton pad. Dispense some product onto the cotton pad using your calming and nourishing toner and then gently sweep it across your face and neck area. So 
So again, step number one is cleansing the face. Step number two is optional if you have a calming toner at home. And now we can also move on to step number three, which is also applying the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. Again, the glycolic acid toner is either your second step when not using a calming toner or your third step when using a calming toner. I just wanted to emphasize this clearly so that you're not going to over exfoliate the skin and also may get an irritation from it. Now, since it also is a toning solution, and as you can see, it's like water, I also recommend using a cotton pad for it, similar to a toner, and also gently across, like sweep it across your face and neck area. Please also make sure to avoid any contact with ice. So, and once you also have applied it evenly all over your face and neck area, you're going to leave it on the skin. It says it's an exfoliator and also slash toning solution, but you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no like need to also rinse it off as it's going to exfoliate the skin while it's also being left on the skin. And now, if you also want to use the lake acid directly afterwards, this also now would be the time. If you're planning on using any serums in between, use it after the glycolic acid toning solution. And go ahead with your serums and then you're going to use the lake acid suspension. So that you also have the right order going on and also see how the texture is. This is also basically the way you're going to use the products. Now when using as lake acid, you can also use a piece as amount of it and apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. So, and again, with as lake acid, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now there are a few points that I want to emphasize before you're going to use them together. First of all, those are two acids. As like acid works a little bit different than glycolic acid. Still, those are two acids. And if you've never used any acids before, I recommend that you're going to use them at alternate times before you're going to include them in the same routine. They can be used together, but you have to be able to um, get the right skin tolerance. Otherwise, it also can irritate the skin if your skin isn't used to it. So if you have those two products at home, one thing that I can advise is that you're, for example, either going to use the azelaic acid in the morning and the toning solution in the evening, so that you're going to use them separate and not in the same routine yet. Or what you also can do is, if you also want to use azelaic acid in the evening, you can also alternate between the evenings. Like, for example, you're going to use uh, glycolic acid on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, and also it depends also Saturday and Sunday and you're going to use as lake acid on the other day so that you can also alternate it that your skin has also the time to also adjust to it and once it also has built up the skin tolerance and you see that you have no issues with it that it feels great on the skin then you also can start introducing them into the same routine this way you're just making sure that your skin won't feel irritated when using them together and that you're also able to apply them together without causing any irritation. Now, I also want to mention that it depends also on your skin tolerance. Some people, when it comes to the exfoliating toning solution, for example, with glycolic acid, can also use it daily. Like this could be a routine that can be used daily once per day. I do not recommend using it twice per day, but once a day which can be either in the morning or evening. I'll get to this into a minute. But how many times you're going to exfoliate your skin during the week depends on your skin tolerance. You can use this one daily, but you can also, for example, use glycolic acid every second day or um, like just two times per week. This depends on your skin tolerance, but still also the same will also go with the azelaic acid. You can use azelaic acid daily, once per day, but you also can use it every couple of days. So you have to see what fits the best for your skin. Some people can use it daily without any problems. Other people say like, well, my skin doesn't really like it when I'm using it daily, so I'm going to reduce the use of it and I'm just going to use it a few times per week. That's fine too. So you have to see what works the best for your skin. 
However, still I recommend starting off with using them separate and then later on using them together. Now, since those are also two acids, and since you're also going to use them either daily or a few times a week, I still recommend using also a sunscreen during the day when being exposed to the sun. Since hydroxy acids such as glycolic acid, as lake acid as well, can also make the skin sensitive to the sun. So it's important that whenever you're being exposed to the sun, please make sure to also wear sun protection. First of all, to not make your sun damage any worse or hyperpigmentation any worse, but also to protect it so that you're not getting sunburned. So those are really important steps before you can also include them together. So again, start off slowly and start off with patience and then you can also see what your skin can tolerate. So this is also what I wanted to share with you. As you can see, you can use them together without a problem. And I do hope that you also enjoyed this video. And if you like it, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.